Here's the same problem we just did, but now we're going to solve it using a Lagrangian. First, let's write out this firm's problem. They want to minimize total cost by choice of labor and capital. That's what that squiggly bracket means. And total cost in this case is the wage, or $5, times the amount of labor, plus the price of capital, $20, times the amount of capital, K. Okay. Subject to the constraint, which in this case is the firm needs to produce 1,000 units of output, and they'll do so using their particular production function. Writing out the Lagrangian, we first write in the objective function, and then we write the constraint, but with a lambda times it. Now we take the partial derivative with respect to labor, then capital, then lambda. And looking at that production function, notice that it's got the square root of L times K. Remember, I could rewrite that as 50 times L to the 0.5, K to the 0.5. So when I take the partial derivative with respect to L, I get 5 minus lambda times 50 times 0.5 times L to the negative 0.5 times K to the 0.5. Similarly, I'll partially differentiate with respect to capital. And when I partially differentiate with respect to lambda, I get back the constraint. I'll set each of these equal to 0 and then work with the top two equations first. The left-hand side is 5 over 20, and the right-hand side, since I've subtracted those two terms over, I'm going to be able to do some canceling. The lambdas, the 50s, and the 0.5 all go. Now I just need to rearrange my k's and l's, and the left-hand side is 0.25, and the right-hand side is k over l. This is a nice Cobb-Douglas production function, so we are expecting it to reduce nicely. I can take this one more step and call it k equals 0.25l. So this will be one equation that I use. I still have one equation on the left-hand side I haven't used yet, the partial derivative with respect to lambda. So it's that equation into which I'm going to plug this k equals 0.25L. So I've plugged in the 0.25L, and that capital term was raised to the 0.5. So that 0.5 exponent, remember, comes in on the 0.25 and comes in on the L. All I need to do now is a little simplification, a little work in my calculator, and I get 40 for the cost minimizing amount of labor to use. Plugging that back in, I find that the cost minimizing level of capital is 10 units. Since we did a Lagrangian, we can take this a step further and find the value of lambda. I can take either of my first two equations to do so. So this one I'm going to use is the partial derivative with respect to labor. I could just as easily use the partial derivative with respect to capital. I'm going to plug in for L and K, so I've substituted in there the 40 and the 10, and now I just need to work this through my calculator. I'm going to bring over that whole lambda term and take 40 to the negative 0.5, take 10 to the 0.5, finish multiplying through and divide, and I get lambda is 0.4. What this means is when the constraint changes by one unit, the optimal value of the objective function is going to change by 0.4. Or in our case, if the firm has to produce 1,001 units of output, the firm's total cost is going to rise by 40 cents.